Good afternoon, guys. I'm back. I'm going to show you a simple, simple way how to cook a steak. And I think everyone's going to love it. Come on. I'm going to show you. Here's ingredient. our ingredients for today. Of course, first we need a steak. It's an eye fillet because I want it leaner. Of course, we need salt and pepper. Three cloves of crushed garlic. Thyme. Potato cut in wedges, one potato cut in wedges, medium size, baby carrots, broccolini, butter, olive oil, and a red wine. That's why we have a red wine. I'm gonna show you how to how I make my sauce. And uh, let's go to the process. And let's start first. Cooking. What we're going to do, steak. We need to season it with salt and pepper. Put a generous amount of salt on both sides. Depends on how salty you want it. Then some pepper, cracked black pepper. Then a bit of olive oil. There we go. And then make sure it's evenly coated. Then you put your garlic in. Rub it a bit. Then we're gonna start cooking. Let's go. Preheat your pan. Then after you preheat your pan, we can put down the steak now. I didn't put any oil in it because remember I put oil earlier in the steak. So that's that is oil. So we're gonna caramelize the side of the steak. First one and two. And after we put it there, we're gonna add some butter and more olive oil. Around 50 grams of butter. Then we put a bit of olive oil so the butter won't burn. And after we put that, we're gonna add in the garlic. garlic. We're gonna put some thyme. Leave it there. We're gonna cook each side for about two and a half minutes. For me, I want it medium rare. For those people who want it uh, medium, you could cook it around three minutes in both sides. Then you have to rest it. Then while we're cooking that, I'm going to prepare the veggie. We got the broccolini. I cut it in half. Then I cut the stalk in half as well. I got six pieces of carrots, the baby carrots in different colors. If you don't have this, it's okay. You can use regular carrot or regular baby carrot. And then uh, one medium sized potato cut in wedges. Then you have to soak it in water. So it doesn't Three oxidize. Minutes, two minutes, it's done on that side. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to put everything on top of the steak. Put the garlic on top there. Some of the garlic. Then we're going to baste the steak. We're going to tilt the pan. Then start using the spoon to baste it. You baste the top of the steak for about one minute. You can see the color of the steak changes. It turns to golden brown. It means it's caramelizing and it's cooking properly. Still got two minutes more to go. Then we're gonna rest the steak for about three more minutes. In. We're gonna saute it. Put a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And let's wait for it to cook. Then while we're resting the potato in as well. So what I do with the potato, I boil it a bit for around two minutes. Then we're gonna finish it in the pan. So it has a nice golden brown the vegetable for about four minutes. It's cooked. Then we're gonna deglaze the pan. Remember I showed you the wine? Just pour the wine in. Around 100 ml. Mm. 
Yang after dark Dia put some Demi glaze powder Around One tablespoon And we just gonna mix it up Let's wait till it become nice and soft. And the wine first. And then, while we're doing that, remember the steak that we cooked earlier? That's the one. The one's resting. See that juice? You put it back. So it has those extra flavor of it and cake. Here we go. Our sauce is almost getting ready. Yep. That looks ready to me. I'm gonna plate it now. I'm gonna show you how I plate it. I have two ways of plating it. One black plate and one white plate. Lay it down, start with the white plate first. So what I'm going to do is, there we go. put that in. Just put it wherever you want. Then your steak. Nice and balanced. Okay, first plate's done. We have we gotta do the black plate. This is very easy. It gives you a bit of a creativity in doing the dish. And we're gonna put some sauce or the gravy or whatever, the red wine juice or the demi glaze. Then you're gonna garnish it up.
waiting. Here we go. We're ready. I'm going to show it to you now. Don't be excited. It's just a simple plate. Uh, white plate. It's a bit uh, all together and crampy. The other one is this one, the black plate. So what I did, I put it on the side so it has a lot of space. Then leave a bit here. Here we go, guys. Steak for two. Here we go. Are you the po musga? You decide which one suits you best. But for me, both of them looks good and it's very appetizing. Thanks for watching my cooking tips and I hope you've learned something from for me today. And happy eating. Maraming salamat po.